everyone, hope you're well. Today's video is a rather requested one. I get a lot of messages over on Instagram and Facebook and just generally day to day about how I curl my hair. And I find it quite funny because I'm forever looking at other people's tutorials on how they curl their hair to try and get my hair the way theirs is. And then other people are just in my hair, which is really lovely. So yeah, ignore the cat. She always seems to like, whenever I'm doing a video in my room, anywhere near the bed, wherever she is in the house, she will come here and she will sit right there as if to say, I'm here, I'm on YouTube, and loving life. So anyway, yes, so hair. What I'm gonna do is show you the products I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna actually do it and kind of speak through what I do. And that'll probably be about it. I use a wet brush. I also have a tangle teaser, but I have that thing where you have a tangle teaser in your hand, you're brushing your hair and it shoots out and it like hits you in the foot or hits the wall. So I swap to wet brushes just because they have a handle I can hold on to and not actually like, destroy my house with. I think I got mine off Amazon, I'll pop a link below. So when my hair is wet, I only wash my hair twice a week, but when it's wet, I spray this on before I actually dry my hair. This is the KMS California Free Shape Hot Flex Spray. Basically my hairdresser used it one time, and I bought it and I've used it ever since. It's lasted ages. It's just a spray you spray on and then dry your hair, and apparently it provides heat activated shaping and elastic hold for unlimited style transformations that last until the next wash. So that's that. Then I love this stuff. It's like the Bastis brand that you do the dry shampoo, but it's their heat protection spray. And what I love about it is you use it on dry hair. So it actually provides your hair with like a lot of extra like nourishment and it makes it look a lot healthier, which is always welcome. Yeah, it's the Shield My Locks Heat and Shine Spray. And I think I picked it up and boom. Next up, dry shampoo, but obviously I only use that sort of on the days that I haven't washed my hair. Today is a hair wash day, so I won't be using it. And lastly, this is what I use to sort of finish my hair off. I used to use the Tony and Guy hairspray that was almost like glue. It was amazing because my hair is very flat. Like this is it naturally. It's very, very straight and very, very flat. So if I do anything with it, I need like really, really strong hairspray to hold it in place because otherwise it just goes and goes back to this. So yeah, I found this stuff really good because they don't do the Tony and Guy spray I used to use anymore. So it's just the Salon Finish Freeze Hold five dots or stars and boots again. I find this the funniest part about curling my hair because basically I use a broken GHD curling wand. It should have a little lever here that you press and it'll open it and then you could like get your hair in and then spin it up and curl it. But because mine's broken, I use it like a wand and I just have done for ages. It had been fixed once or twice and then Rob stood on it and then we lost the bit. So we've never fixed it, but it works for now. You see, yeah, my hair is all ready to go. It's straight, it's actually freshly washed. And what I tend to do is use a clip to sort of, I kind of bring it round, split it into two. So I've got two sections here and then I split it into four. So I'll like pin this section up and then do this, then this one, then this one, then this one. So let's go. So what I'm gonna do, like I just said, is section off four bits. So this is the first bit I'm going to be doing. My hair is quite thin. I do have extensions in at the moment as well, which I'll probably do a separate video on if anyone's interested, but my hair is quite thin, so I don't have to like split it into too many different sections within each section, if you know what I mean. So this bottom bit here that I'm doing right now, I usually have three or four bits to curl in there. I tend to take sections of hair that are about an inch thick, and I kind of hold the curler at the top of that section, probably about two or three centimeters away from my roots and then spin my hair around the curler. I hold the curler completely horizontally straight to my head because I find that gives me the best curling shape. I hold it for up to 10 seconds depending on whether I'm looking for waves or proper curls. I'm kind of going to go into the middle this time and just get that kind of in between a wave and a curl. So yep, I will continue to do that in this section and then I will pop that section down. And when it comes to the bits around sort of the side of my face, the thinner bits, I hold the curler at more like a 45 degree angle, I guess, because I feel like it shapes my face a bit better. I always do the bottom section first then the top section because obviously if you did the top section first then pinned it, it would probably mess it up. And I'm going to move on to the next section. So I carry on curling, carrying on doing my thing. And then once my whole head is curled, what I do is I don't touch it, I don't put my hands through it, I don't put my brush through it, but I completely hairspray it. And then usually I will then do my makeup or do anything else I need to do before I'm leaving the house to sort of let it set and let it cool because apparently I've been told by one of my hairdressers, if you've got hair like mine that's quite fine and quite flat, if you brush it out while it's still warm, the curls will fall out a lot faster. Whereas if you let the curls cool down to your hair's natural hair temperature, then brush them out with your fingers. They tend to last longer. So yeah, once my hair is cooled down or if I'm ready to go, then I tend to usually put my fingers through the curls rather than my actual brush. Because I find sometimes my brush makes my hair go really static 
or it completely takes the curls out. I always find my left hand side so much harder to do than my right and it always ends up looking slightly different. Not very sure why, it's probably just more like the angle I'm holding the curler at, I assume. So that was my how I curl my hair slash tutorial. I don't like using that word because I'm not like a proper beauty vlogger, I'm just me and I'm just showing you what I do. So really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and also don't forget to subscribe and yeah, we'll see you very soon. Um, pop a comment in the box below if there's anything else of this sort of type of video you want to see and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching, bye! This section's at the front, I also tend to curl for less time because my hair there is a lot thinner so it just curls a lot quicker.